The pickup in any fly cast is the most important part. We're on water and water is sticky. It grips the line. And so when we pull against it, the rod bends. And if we don't control that rod load, it'll unload and create squiggles in the line. But if we pull too fast on the water, we get that line rip like that. And we don't want that either. I want you to have a look at the tip of the rod. All I'm gonna do is start lifting the tip of the rod. There you go. And you see where the line touches the water, first touches the water. I call that the contact point. Let's have a look at that in more detail. There's the contact point and it's running away from me, running away. But look, it's now running towards me. It's running towards me because I've run out of leverage on the rod. The rod can't lift any higher, it can't get any more line off. Oh, and now it's falling back towards me. In the overhead cast, whether it be lake or river, we're looking for that contact point to peel away and just before it starts running back towards us, we want to unstick the rest of that line from the water. Not before, not after. I want you to imagine a sticker on grease-proof paper. You don't just grab the sticker and just rip it off. You take off a corner and gently unpeel it, don't you? Until you've got the, the last corner off and then you just pick it off the grease-proof paper. It's the same with the contact point and the line on the water. You're just gonna unstick that sticker and then just take the last bit off and lay it down. And what that does, it creates a progressive, gentle, smooth load of the rod tip, which creates a good back cast. And the back cast is the building block for the forward cast. So you could argue that the lift is the most important part of any fly cast, and it is. Here I am on the water, running downstream, a lot of tension in the fly line, tip on the water, no slack, contact point running away, lift up the last bit and lay it back down. That's the lift in an overhead cast. 